Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and this is Monday Minute. So a lot of people got their shows going out there, they're doing all their testing, and if you're fortunate, like some of us that actually run our shows in Halloween, it's a little bit easier. But for many, you're getting your show set up for the first time this year, or maybe it's your first first show ever and you went out and got all these high density props or you've got a large show and maybe you're not used to troubleshooting the setup process just before you're getting ready to play your show and it can be frustrating so i was having thanksgiving dinner down the street with some friends and when i walked back to the house i thought why don't i just put on some lights and get some things moving and just you know no sequence no music just some animation and while I was there, I said, well, why don't we just isolate everything? And then suddenly it hit me. Why can't this be a tool to help people isolate the direction of effects from eaves to verts to floods to HD props to the mega tree? Is everything turning the right way? Now, we talk about the bars test. The bars test is a great thing, but it's... It's not really pretty to look at, and no matter what, when you go out, it doesn't really show you if the submodel effects are working as they should. So I wanted to put something together that I thought might be helpful, and it's been pretty popular. And of course, you can make your very own, but I just want to share this with you and what I think has been very beneficial to me troubleshooting my show. And then I want to put icing on the cake, and I want to show you what you can do with a model that you may have wired backwards or perhaps the printing on the model is different than what the model is in x lights which is pretty common okay uh, let's just go to the sequencer and i'm just going to click on this effect up here and you'll see over here in the show that this 30 second sequence is simply moving things around it's really pretty it looks great live and it's something that might be able to help you out hopefully hopefully right so as you can see things are going up even the eaves and verts have colors but it also has these lines going up so if you have something that's not going the same direction perhaps you have an input issue in x lights the other thing is as you can see here i have some things that are turning to let you know if the directions are correct you can apply any of these effects over here to any model you want if you want to see the spinnies and make sure it's going in the same direction like I have here with the Gilbert Engineering Cubes. It's important to see this information. I have my little small cube. I still need to change the uh, inputs on. I have a couple of these reversed, so this little guy here isn't looking correct like the others are, so I will fix that. Uh, and the best way I could see that happening was something as simple as this, and so that's great. Now, I also had this fella up here, this was the Gilbert Engineering, or this is the Gilbert Engineering square peg. I noticed that when things were turning left, this one was turning right. So I looked at the wiring, and yeah, the, the wiring looks great here. I click on the wiring view, and remember this is from the reverse view. What I noticed is where it starts here, it starts in the center, goes up, and goes counterclockwise from reverse view. Well, my prop actually goes the opposite. So how do you fix that? Well, it's really, really simple. Now, I believe you can right-click on here, and I believe there is a flip horizontal, flip vertical. I've had mixed results with that. I prefer just to click on the prop by itself, go over here to click Edit, you're going to go into this big grid cell here, and if I were to bring this way down, you'd see it. Let me scoot this in just so we can see the center. All I did, let me bring this up so you can see it, and we're going to find that center again if I can. Where are you? There you are. All I did was right-click, flip horizontal. Now, before I do that, notice that it goes up and to the right. If I click on horizontal flip now it goes up and to the left don't worry about the submodels it will correct itself it'll be just fine you're not going to mess up any submodels doing this x lights is uh, smart enough to figure that out for us 
Anyway, uh, no, I do. Do you want to abandon changes? Yes, abandon the changes. It works fine the way it is. So I hope this is helpful. I hope uh, this file can be helpful or make your own and you'll be good to go. All right, there you go. I hope this has been helpful. Hey, if you enjoy these videos and you find them beneficial to your hobby endeavors, uh, smash that thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps. All right, you folks have a great week. Be safe out there. This has been Monday Minute. See ya. Thank you.